Hello everyone, Lee Coach here and welcome back to another video. Today we are building an exhibit for Mandrills. Um, yeah, once again, a kind of big exhibit. I had time today and I wanted to make some bigger stuff. Because lately I've been building lots of small things and I want to show that I also can do bigger stuff. <laughs> maybe not to you, but maybe to myself. I want to prove to myself that I can still do that as well. Because I take pride in being good at small details, but I like to think that I am also capable of doing stuff like this, the Okapi exhibit. Because the only big speed build we did so far was the Garial exhibit, and I was not particularly a fan of that one. But oh well, some of you seem to like it, and that's also very important, of course. But yeah, um, <laughs> I wanted to start off with a very small inside building for the monkeys in the far back of the exhibit and just have it be covered in plants entirely but just so that I have it there in the background but I ended up uh, wasting way too much time on it as per usual I can't not do that I just always need to spend a lot of time on buildings I just really like buildings I can't help it so uh, yeah now it's over there as you can see this is a building style I have been using a lot I used it in the Okapi exhibit and in a couple more exhibits which I can't think of right now but I'm sure I've used it a lot the clay and then the dark wood combination just looks really good it's a good uh, European kind of style and that's the building style I like most so makes sense I just really really love the colors in combination with the Zutekun stuff in combination with the grass colors and the foliage colors it just in a weird way feels like a different game to me. I don't know why, but it's just a whole style which I really, really dig. But yeah, um, I make climbing structures over here, just out of the logs and uh, the ropes and stuff, which I'm sure you all have installed. And if you don't, you need to, because they make this game so much better and they make life so much easier. And these rocks, uh, yeah, I saw once again, um, Someone asked me how I get inspiration for the exhibits, and I get my inspiration through just googling exhibits for the animal I want to build the exhibit for. So, in this case, I googled mandrill exhibits, and I got something which looked kind of like this. In hindsight, I think um, the mandrills in real life would be able to make the jump over the moat, but oh well. Um, so be it. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, a kind of autumn fall style of foliage. Very red, big trees, and then uh, pine trees for the rest, which is cool. I mostly do temperate forest stuff, deciduous trees and such. So to do pine trees is also fun. It makes it a bit different. And I also really like the color of this red tree together with all the pine trees gives it a very cool kind of atmosphere. I also uh, used my Bennett Mongoose exhibit kind of terraining tips and tricks. So just having all of these slopes in the terrain to kind of fake a plateau. Like it is a plateau but it's not flat anywhere. Everywhere there are different kinds of slopes and different kind of hills and ditches and stuff to still make it an interesting looking plateau instead of a very flat and unnatural one. So yeah, I really like the shape of this exhibit. The terraining makes it pretty cool, I think. And it's very lush with lots of different colors and a lot of orange, which is different from the standard dark green I normally always have. So yeah, I'm in the real exhibit, people. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.